Okay, so we've made it up to Black Spur in the McLaren, but there is a there's a caveat. There's a there's a problem as there always is with these type of things. I'm gonna get into the lights so you can see. So I'm the main driver on it. It's from McLaren, I'm shooting the McLaren, I'm driving it. So I can park places like this with this insane background and I can get shots. But the stuff that we're gonna get in Black Spur on the road, I cannot get out of the car and shoot the car because I have to be obviously responsible for the car the entire time. So what I've asked the boys to do is take shots for me and I'm gonna edit them and that'll be the content I'll show you on top of this content that I'm gonna get in this place like here. So some of the content is mine and some of the content is from the boys, but it's all edited in my way, et cetera, et cetera. But it's a team effort and hopefully it goes well. Okay, so for this first shot, I've just thrown on the POV. On the screen is a shot that I just took at 12 mil, which looks insane. But I wanted to throw the 35 to 150 on from Tamron because I want to just uh, get a more compressed shot with the background. So you've got these beautiful ash trees in the background and the fog looks insane car lights just went off but that doesn't actually matter because the silver of the car and the silver of the fucking fog looks in oh this looks fucking crazy these guys are all down there dancing in a field looks pretty sick in the fog we're just waiting for it to get a little bit lighter to go onto the road but for now oh if i get down low I can even probably punch that into 50 mil a little bit more Sick. I'm gonna go to the right hand side and get sorry a more pushed in compressed shot jump bump up the ISO to 1000 oh. and I'm just gonna grab a 35 kind of top-down shot okay so just put the back lights on I've come to the back of the car the red I've got a mist filter on as well, which is the one that I made. Oh, the red tail lights with like the fog looks nuts. Let's just do straight from behind. That looks so mean. And maybe we can get a, a bit of a reflection going on. Like that. I think if I come further back, I'm quick. I get down here, get some, get some foliage in the foreground. Okay, that'll do. I'm trying to be quick because the back lights can turn off because it's a hybrid car. Um, it's just running off the battery at the moment, and I don't want the battery to go down too quickly. Before we move on to the next location, I'm going to get one shot here of the rear of the car facing towards the trees. I'm at 50 mil. F2.2, 80th of a second, ISO 640. Oh, that's so sick. I'm not a massive fan with the doors open, but for the shot that you can see on the screen, I think it works. Someone just keep an eye for a car. The logistics of doing this shoot is actually insane. And on the day, it's, it was hard to kind of fathom and, and, and get across via video of how difficult this shoot was. So I was driving the car and I wanted to shoot the car. Obviously, it's a beautiful car and, and the shots so far look insane. But what it took was a lot of logistics between me and the other boys to actually come away with some usable shots. So if it wasn't for those guys, I wouldn't have been able to get any content at all of the car. 
And I think it's really important when you're a creator that you team up and work with other people because otherwise it's just it's just not possible sometimes. I was in this beautiful location and I feel incredibly blessed to be able to have driven a McLaren Natura in that situation. But I'll give you a bit of backstory. I, I, I'll let you into kind of how it all worked out. So I was driving the car up and down and there was like two spaces that I could actually turn the Atura around because it's obviously a, a supercar and it's very expensive. I wasn't just gonna like, I couldn't put it in a vulnerable situation. So I had to make sure I was going to a safe place to turn it around, which meant a lot of driving. I know, right? It's not that bad, but it was tedious and hard work. And it meant a lot of conversations with the boys back and forth, making sure that there was no cars coming. If I was parked in the center of the road, we had a lookout, so much going on. And the drone shots are here and the guys that took them are all linked below. So thank you to Moses, Will and Willis and Lachlan who helped the boys bring them to the shoot as well. Cause obviously the Atura only has two seats. It was hectic, it was crazy, it was mad but it was probably one of my favorite shoots to date. And it ran so smoothly, it's weird. We all walked away with really good content, but it worked out really well. Before you're thinking, why couldn't Will, Willis or Moses drive it? Uh, none of them were on the insurance and none of them had signed the document that I signed. Um, and Will and Willis are below the age of 25. It is what it is. We walked away with some incredible content and yeah. Thank you to the lads. Thank you to McLaren Melbourne for, for giving me the car and I hope I can work with them in the future again. Uh, the, the shots that I got, obviously you saw when we were parked up already. Um, there's some more on the screen, both from the boys, myself. Um, I also shot the car in a car park in the center of Melbourne, which turned out incredible. There's a video coming out soon about that. And it's, yeah. It was an experience and I can't even like put it into words into it just I just can't it, like it was incredible I got to drive it for a full 24 hours it was I want one I, I literally want one that's it's changed my mind on cars and I want a McLaren Atura and I can't afford one so <laughs> with all that being said go and buy my presets so I can buy a McLaren I don't know enjoy bye thank you